Today we are in Landudno, well, Flandudno, which is uh, in North Wales, actually. It's, I'm not sure if it's on Anglesey or it's near Anglesey. But either way, we're in Flandudno. We've come across the pond, now we're in Wales, which is actually my home country, so I'm happy about that. We're driving a Virgin Trains Class 221, which is also known as the Super Voyager, because it tilts, it's really cool. And um, not a train driver, so I'm not going to do the whole messing about with a sign and everything. You see it says not in service. I don't actually know how to do that. What's the sign say? Not in service. Oh well, we can open the doors for the passengers. I love the design on the doors with the cross hatching. I think it looks cool, so cool. And then when the doors shut, we're going to head out to Crewe, which is our final destination, which is in England. Right, we've got the HUD on. We need to put the train into forwards and brake uh, released. Uh, took me a while to figure out the throttle then. Our speed limit at the moment is 15 miles an hour and it is soon going up to 50. We've got about 70 miles left to go. But this is a pretty fast train. We're going to stop at every station along the way and we're going from, as I said, Landudno um, across the border through all of North Wales, um, across the border into England. I'm already speeding, that's good. So yeah, it should be quite an interesting little trip and of course I am from Wales so hopefully I should get the pronunciations pretty good for a lot of these town names but just don't be surprised if the town names sound a little bit unusual. After this uh, cross here, it's like a point, couldn't think of the word then, the speed limit's gone up 250. The mace is so annoying in this game, it just randomly pops up, I don't know why, but whatever. Right, uh, we can now accelerate up 250, I'm going to go throttle notch 2 for that, and we're going to go outside view and have a look at the train. It is a very cool train this is, I do like the uh, class 221, the Super Voyager don't actually operate near my house. We have the Voyagers but not the Super Voyagers. They basically look the same. The only difference really that I know of is the Super, Vo eh, Super Voyager tilts. Um, other than that I think they're pretty identical. Virgin trains however do not operate near my house. I live in South Wales not North Wales and we have uh, Arriva Trains Wales um, Great Western Railway, I think they're called now. It used to be First Great Western. And that's pretty much it for passenger trains. I love the uh, semaphore signals. That's cool. It shows how this is an old line, speeding. God, I caught it at the last second then. Right, we've got a stop coming up. Daganwi Platform 1. Daganwi. Never heard of that. I assume that's how it's pronounced. Um, I'm just going to start braking lightly now. You do have a lot more control in this train over the braking. There's the AWS telling us that the signal ahead is clear, as we can see. It's a semaphore signal. And there's the AWS. Ooh, we got another train. Come on, camera, behave. That is a class 158. That's an Arriva train as well, train. They operate near my house. Well, there he goes off to uh, land, no? Okay, I've just released the brake a little bit. We were stopping way too fast, so we wouldn't have made the platform. Speed limit's going down to 35 in a second anyway. Um, let's actually speed up to about 35. We can stop in time. I'm trying to make this video a little bit less long-winded as the last one, so I'm going to edit bits of it out, like a lot more of it out, and um, I'm going to talk, but not quite as much as I did last time, because so, I don't want the video to be like three hours long. It gets tedious after a while. If I just stop the power there and drift into the gangway. As I said though, I'm not 100% sure if we're actually on Anglesey or we're near it. Anglesey, in case you don't know, is a island off the northwest coast of Wales. It's uh, near Snowdonia, which is the tallest mountain in Wales. It's very nice Snowdonia. I've been up there. Snowdonia National Park. And... Um, I'll let you know in a bit, if we cross a really big bridge then we're in Anglesey. Let's just slow down for this. I want to get a good stop in distance at Daganwi. I'm going to assume that's like Daganwi Bay or something. Don't think we're going to stop in time. Come on brakes. Work. How far? Oh, we got loads of time. Didn't realise how long this platform was. Right, anywhere by here should be okay. 
and release a bit of the brakes to a nice slow stop and let the passengers on and off. This is lovely. The Ganymede looks really nice. It doesn't look like a big place, just like one of those little seaside coastal towns, I think. Not 100% sure. Oh well. It does look nice, however. Right, doors are shut. We can get going now, so if I release the brake. And full throttle. Come on, full throttle. Let's see what this baby got. I'm kidding. I think the highest speed we can get up to on this route is 90 miles per hour. Not 100% sure, though. But the top speed of this train is actually 125. I'm not sure if we're meant to um, honk for this crossing. Actually, no, I doubt it, because most crossings in the UK, as you can see, have, like, barriers. Ooh, we're speeding already. Stop speeding, train. Behave. Yeah, they have barriers to, um... My voice keeps dying today. I've been talking quite a lot. Most crossings in the UK, you've got to get to the point, Nick, have crossings to stop you from just darting out in front of a train. Coming up to Landed No Junction. Ah, I know where we are. We're in the, um... What's the straight? Is it the Menai Strait? I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, and there's the bridge. So that's Anglesey there. This is not really a river. It's like, um... I'm not sure how you describe it, but that's an island over there. That's not just a river. And that is Anglesey. Oh, God, speed. Oh, my God, I need to brake, like, hard. I did not see these speed changes coming up. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Uh, this is going to be close. Will we slow down in time? I doubt it. No. Damn it. So close. Yet so far. Now add some more throttle so we can actually make it. 15 miles an hour. God, this is slow. Yeah, basically that's the island of Anglesey on our right there. And there's the, um, the bridge I was talking about. So if you catch the other train, it goes across that bridge to... I'm not sure where that goes. Does it say on the map? Uh, down there is uh, Conway and not actually quite sure. Something interesting about Anglesey, not far from here on the island of Anglesey is the place with the world's longest name. It's got 58 letters. It's crazy. Like you think Landud knows how to pronounce? Nope. I'll, um, I'll try and put the name of that station in the in the video below. It is, it's just so long. 58 letters. Right. This is Land No Junction. We are stopping here. It's actually starting to get busy quite now. Uh, now the tracks are. Yep, getting busy. I'm sorry if I sound a uh, little bit nasally and can't English properly today. I uh, just had a sore throat. I think I've got hay fever. My eyelid is swollen up. It's not good. It really is not good. But, any anyways, um, yeah, let's pull into London. This is so slow. Like 15 miles an hour, really. Let's see if we can go a little bit faster. Maybe build the speed up to just over 15. And we're going to platform one, because why not? It's a very big station, Landed No Junction. Just got a single bay platform there. You still have a double one, you can tell, but one of the tracks has obviously been uh, removed. Let's go inside so I can see where to stop. Um, is there like a... yeah. There's the... Um, there's like a blue sign on the right there. That is for three and four car stops. We are a five car train, so I'm going to go a little bit past that to the S there. That means stop here, essentially. So, um, anywhere about now. Just very slowly come to a stop, before this signal preferably, even though it's green. And let the passengers on and off. Right, off we go now, heading for... Uh, Speed's gone up to 25, so if I just go throttle power 1, what's the next stop? Um, uh, there. There's a train already there, apparently. Uh, Colwyn Bay. That I have heard of. It's quite a big town. So, let's just pull out this station. Speed limit's about to go up to 25. 
and then you can see in a little bit on the HUD it's going up to 45 miles per hour. I'm pretty sure this is the slow part of the journey. The faster part's coming up now, I think. I think it's quite slow, yeah, you can see 85 miles per hour. It's quite slow around here, but then the speeds do actually start picking up in a moment. So it's about to go up to 45 here, once we cross this point. Of course, I can't accelerate up to that until the back of the train has gone through the speedboard. For safety reasons, I guess. So I'm going to go up to throttle power 2 now. And hopefully that'll accelerate us at a slow enough rate that we won't be breaking the speed limit before we hit the 85 mile an hour board where we can maybe go to power 3, maybe? Not sure where those tracks down there go. Probably just some industrial state or something. Okay, we are going to speed, so I'm just going to cut the power at 45 until we pass the 85 mile an hour speed board and merge with this track. And then we can let it rip 85 miles per hour. Um, I'm going to accelerate now, because why not? Let's go power 3. And that should hopefully bring us up to about the right speed, maybe. So many camera angles. That's one of my main criticism of this game. Like, the controller support's not the best. They do do their own controller, which you can buy, which is like, got throttle things and everything on it, but do you really want that? This game's expensive enough with all the add-ons, you really don't want to buy another controller. That's for like, hardcore enthusiasts, which I really am not. But yeah, this train is really nice, you can see it actually leaning in the corner, which is um, pretty good. That's what separates it from the normal Voyager. I've been on a Voyager for so quiet. Like, this is a pretty loud train, but when you're inside, the same proofing in it is so good. It really is. Right, coming up to 80 miles an hour now, just past it. So I need to start reducing the throttle. So if I go down to power throttle 1, see if that... No, that's still accelerating us. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to have to keep balancing throttle between 1 and off, maybe. I don't know what highway we're running alongside of now. It looks more like an A road than a motorway. Well, yeah, it would be. There's only one motorway in Wales, as far as I know. That's the M4 and all the um, motorways that come off it. And that's in the south of the country near Cardiff, so it won't be a motorway. Uh, we're coming up on Colwyn Col Bay. The speed limit's dropping to 75, so if I just give 10% throttle, that should slow us down about right, hopefully. Yeah, I assume this is Colwyn Bay. It looks lovely. It really does. If I zoom out a little bit. Yeah, it's a pretty big town. It does look really nice. I wouldn't mind living somewhere like this. Right, the station is coming up in 0.6 of a mile, so perhaps I want to consider giving a bit more break. There's another train. Let's zoom in a little bit. There it is, another in Arriva Trains Wales. Honestly, I'm not sure why Virgin doesn't operate in the South Wales. I assume that there must be, like, only specific companies can operate in specific routes. And we already have First Great Western, or Great Western Railway, whatever you want to call it, so... Perhaps that's why they don't operate there. I don't know, just guessing. Right, there's Colwyn Bay Pier, there's the actual bay. Uh, up north is land, apparently. Um, okay. I assume north of here would be like Scotland, but okay. Let's just slowly cruise into the station, maybe up by... A little bit of break, maybe like 10%, see how that does. I don't like entering stations too fast, it's just the chance of you overrunning unless you're a good driver, that's cool. The car park is above the motorway, that's pretty cool. Right, let's apply a bit more break, 20% maybe. I'm aiming to stop, well is there an S sign actually? Yeah there is. Uh, no, that's a five sign, so five car stops up there. No, that's six. Okay, I reckon anywhere right here then. Here should be okay. And there she is. Let's let the passengers off. Let's actually have a look inside the train. Is it nice in here? It's very loud. I don't know, those seats look... God, this is hard. <laughs> Those seats don't look too uncomfortable. 
red on one side, blue on the other. That's pretty cool. And let's get going again. Nope, that's break. Full throttle. Come on, 75 miles an hour. Not to 60 in like two minutes, probably. <laughs> not a car, not a Ferrari. It's red like a Ferrari, but it's not a Ferrari. And let's enjoy the scenery. The water is a little bit shit. <laughs> Gotta be said. The water is not the best in this game. But yeah, we're basically going along the North Wales coast now. I think most of this trip is along the North Wales coast until we sort of like duck off into England, so to speak, and then we join the West Coast mainline. We are coming up on Penmyros Tunnel. Penmyros. Penmyros? Penmyros. That's how I pronounce that. And I do speak a tiny bit of Welsh, so my pronunciation is probably fairly accurate. And I wouldn't bet on it, though. It's cool how we're paralleling the, hi paralleling, paralleling the highway. And speeding. Okay, this train accelerates faster than I thought it did. There's the tunnel up in the distance. There's the end of that little bayside road. I wonder where that goes. Oh, over there. <laughs> green light. Gotta get them greens. Some rocks down below. I love, I just love travelling along the coast. It's so good. Uh, yes, Pen Mayros Tunnel. Pen Mayros. However you pronounce it. Here's whatever tunnel. Oh, that's cool. That is a cool entrance to a tunnel if ever I've seen one. And then the speed limit is going up to 85 in a moment. Oh, we were speeding a little bit then. Just apply 10% brake. Our next stop is Pen Gele and San something or other. I don't know. What I say was Pensan, Abigail and Pensan. That's an unusual name. Nice little trailer park there on the left. Uh, we're gonna buy a little bit of power now, just to get us to the station faster. Reckons we'll arrive in about an hour, but of course I'm gonna edit some of that out, so it won't be quite that long for you. Lovely view out the window. Well, would be if the weather was a bit nice. I chose to have cloudy weather today. I wasn't sure which to go for. Just scroll through every single camera mode, why not? But I thought, why not have a little bit of a um, shitty weather today? We are in Wales. The, we the weather in Wales, believe me, not good. I think the hottest summer I ever had, it rained for three days in the one week. Like, it was a week of... It was the hottest week ever, and it still rained for three, three days. It just... The weather's not good. I'd love to live somewhere like, I don't know, California, somewhere hot, mate. Not, I don't know if I'd want to live in Florida. Florida just, from what I've heard, it's just too hot. I'm not sure I'd want to live somewhere like that. Yeah, I'd love to live like California or maybe Nevada. Nevada looks nice. Spain is really nice. I've been to Spain a few times. Let's release the brake a little bit. Yeah, I'd, l I'd love to live somewhere hot, but then equally I'd love to live somewhere cold, like Canada or something. I think you could get a lot of fun out of living somewhere cold. Like, you can chill in your house, you can control your temperature easier. It's not hard to get to sleep because it's so musky inside. I, I don't know, I'd like, I'd quite like to live in Canada, I would. Right, we're coming up on Abigail and Pensan. I need to break a little bit more. This is a nice little place, nice uh, fuel station over there. I assume that's some kind of leisure centre or city hall or something, that building. Not 100% sure though. And just release the brake while we cruise into the station. And then you've got a nice little beach on the left. I don't know, I think that looks pretty nice. I wish there was an option to invert the axis on this controller. I prefer inverted axis on all my games, I've got to be honest. Uh, let's just give 10% break and that should stop us about right. 
Um, actually, no, let's start a bit earlier. I think I've missed it, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's where we were meant to stop there. Four and five cars. Oh, well, we overshot. Nothing major. And let the passengers embark. And let's go. Next stop is... Uh, what is the next stop? It is quite far away. What is that? Rill. I've been to Rill. Rill's nice. And then we got... Eh, zoom in. Press start in. And then I think we enter England somewhere around here. Uh, that's not a station. That's a depot. Uh, where's the next station? There. That is Flint. That's in England, I'm pretty sure. And then we got... Shotton. Chester's probably the next one. I think this is Chester. Yep, I've been to Chester. Chester's nice. And then finally Crewe, which is the biggest station by a long way. Look at the size of this on the map. Holy crap. And there's Crewe. Right, let's actually keep an eye on our driving. Just honk for the people at the uh, crossing, just in case. And let's go to... Prestatin? Is that what I said was next? I can't remember. I think it was Prestatin. No, Rill. It was Rill next. Lovely scenery though. I just wish the water looked a bit better. It'd be so much nicer. There's a lot of trailers around here. Holy shit. Wow. I don't even know what time we're in. Oh my god, I didn't keep an eye on the speed. Crap. Let's just break a little bit. That'll be good enough. Wow, this is a big caravan park. Oh, wow. This has to be, like, a vacation spot. Like, Butlins or Haven or something. Yeah, look at the car park, yeah. That is like a racetrack up there. I don't know, I'm going to have to find out what this place is. Looks like a horse racing track up there. Or maybe, like, an athletics track. And a shit ton of caravans. I'm not sure I'd want to live in an area full of caravans like that. Perhaps this is Rill. I mean, I've been to Rill, but not the outskirts of Rill. We, like, drove through it. Up near here, there's a place called Denbig. Or Denbe. Or something like that. I was, I was told by my nan, who grew up in Rill, to pronounce it Denbe, so that's how I'm going to do it. And, um... In Denbir, there's an abandoned mental asylum where they used to perform lobotomies and people died there. It's really gruesome. But we went there. It's so cool. The place is massive. It really is. I don't know what river this is. Nice ass bridge over there, though. Yeah, I don't know what that, that um, asylum, I don't know when it shut down or anything. I think it was like the 60s. But it was so cool. It was huge. Like, seriously, massive. This is the part of Rill I've been to. Up near the station. In fact, we parked on a road somewhere by here because we drove past the station and parked around the corner. Okay. I just had an emergency brake. Damn it. That's annoying. Now I have to stop the train and reset it. God damn it. Ugh, oh, that sucks. Yep, yeah, full brakes. We get it. Emergency brake act. Yeah, application. I need to pay more attention. I wish you could hear the ABS when you're outside the train. It's so annoying. Right, how do I reset this now? I'm pretty sure I release the brakes. Go into forwards. Go back into neutral. Release the brakes. Oh, put the brakes back on, sorry. And then take them off. I think it's something like that. Let's see if that works. Are we moving? Yes! Oh, get in there, my son. I genuinely didn't know how to do that then. Anyway, just ignore that. That didn't happen. We are in Rill. Yeah, I remember parking somewhere by the station. It's like one of these side roads down by here. And then we went to the beach, which is over there. Which looks like land. <laughs> And in Rill, there's about 4 billion um, wind turbines, which is fun. There, I didn't want to put power, I wanted brake. Damn it. 
I'm going to have to really break strong now, break really hard. Just so we make it into the station. Uh, I think I braked a bit too hard actually. Let's just coast for a little bit. <laughs> I want to stop up by this bridge up here. God, this hay fever is really annoying me today. Ugh. Allergies, right? So annoying. I've got a swollen eyelid. Which is just like the most annoying thing ever. I've had it before. I have a really weird thing. Where if I have too much caffeine when I'm tired, my eyelid just starts blinking uncontrollably. It's really annoying. It happened once at a family party at Christmas. Ugh, that was annoying. Everyone looked at me like I was crazy. Right. Let's just stop around about here. Okay guys, we're on our way to Flint now. We just stopped at Prestatin and um, I did a dum-dum. I did a stupid. I left my microphone muted, so yeah, that happened. Uh, you didn't miss too much, to be honest. It was just me stopping at Prestatin. I nailed the stop, I'm just going to say that now. Went in the platform too fast for speeding. And uh, brake just the right amount, stopped in a perfect position. So yeah, I'm proud of that. But yeah, I'm stupid and left my microphone muted. Uh, we're on our way to Flint now, and then after that we've got Shotton, Chester, and finally Crew. So not too much left to go now. Um, still got about 45 miles, but most of that is high speed, so shouldn't take too much longer. And as I said at the beginning, I am going to edit some of the uh, more boring parts out. So let's get on with the journey. We're about to speed. What are those towers up in the distance? That's what I want to know. Oh my god, got another emergency brake, really. Ugh. I hate that. There should be an option to let you hear the AWS while you're outside of the cab. Like, I get it, sure. It's realistic, you wouldn't actually hear it if you're sat on top of the train, but you could argue that going outside in an external view is not realistic. It's just annoying. That's my number one criticism of this game. There needs to be more options. Like, yeah, you can change the resolution, but genuinely, if I go to the settings now, options, that's it. The opacity and the driving HUD. That's it. That's the only options you get. I'd like to see other things like, um, for example, changing the resolution, maybe. Um, audio levels. There needs to be more things you can do in the settings. It's annoying. And my number one criticism, you need to be able to hear the AWS outside the train. It catches me out every time. So if I release the brake, put it back on, and release it again, it should hopefully work. Let's see. Yes! I'm getting good at this now. God damn it. Oh well, at least we got to see this um, abandoned station in the middle of nowhere. And a big factory. <laughs> That's pretty much all this here. Ugh, it's so annoying though, the AWS alert. You need to be able to hear it outside the train, you really do. Because if they're going for realism, like yeah, you wouldn't hear it outside the train. But you also can't just magically be outside the train looking around like this. Or you can't go sit in the seats in the back. It don't work like that. It's so annoying. Ugh. Oh well, there's a big factory. Something cool to look at, I suppose. <laughs> uh, that sucks. Those train tracks don't look very used. The speed limit's going down to 75 in a moment, so I need to be aware of that. And we're coming up on a level crossing. No, that's not even a level crossing, that's a bridge. And we are still on our way to Flint.
Okay guys, the speed limit's going up to 90 in a bit. I hope you like that little montage I put together. Um, we cut... I'm not sure how far we are from Flint, actually. Uh, there's no way to tell, apparently. Uh, after this, I'm going to jump on some OCRP. I love playing OCRP. Oh wow, that's cool. That ship over there. That's really cool. That's like the coolest thing I've seen in this game. Wow. Just an abandoned ship. That's really cool. Yeah, I, I, I do love playing OCRP. Out of all the games I've ever played, OCRP is my favourite. Um, it's just something special about having that interaction with other people. And you just, you don't get the same thing if you play on your own. Even with AI, it's just, it's different playing with AI. I'm actually not going to accelerate that much because we've got a 75 mile an hour limit coming up again in a moment. Which is annoying. I was looking forward to going 90 miles an hour. But yeah, it's just, playing with other people is so much better. Like, I love playing with um, Troy and Ben and pretty much everyone in OCRP. It is really cool. It's nice to have a community to play with. And um, I've been part of communities before. I'm still part of the Into the AM community. And I've played with a few of them guys, like uh, Nightblades, for example. And it's it's just different when you have your own little community to play with. It's so much better. Um, I'm guessing we're not stopping at Hollywell then. That train did. I'm not sure why we're not. Oh, because there's only one platform and it's in the other direction. That would be why. I'm not quite sure why that is. I swear Holly, Hollywell's quite a big town. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. That didn't make sense. Not 100% sure, but I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Alright, speed limit's going back up to 90 in a mile. Just over a mile. Hopefully this one will stay at 90 for a little bit longer. I'm speeding. You really need to keep your eye on the speed in this game. Right, we're coming up on the 90 mile an hour limit now. Come on, baby. Let this train rip. As I said, top speed's 125. I think it's written in here somewhere. Yeah, there. But, um, yeah, we can't actually go that fast on this route, unfortunately. Pretty sure there are other routes in the game where you can, but we can't, so... Right, full throttle. And 90 miles an hour towards Flint. How far are we now? Uh, not that far, actually. That's not far at all. It'll probably be on the mini-map in a moment. Let's see. That's annoying. I was looking forward to about 90 miles an hour everywhere. We're approaching 90 now. We're at 88. 89. Let's start reducing power now. Power 1. Okay, off. And of course there's Flint on the map. I'm going to start breaking 10% brake when I'm a mile out. Maybe 20% actually. Actually no, there's a... Damn it, there's a 75 limit coming up before then. That's annoying. Very straight bit of track here. Right, um, 1.2 miles out. Actually, yeah, about a mile I'm going to start braking. 10%. And then increase it if I need to. So let's just... Eh, 15. 15 sounds good. And let's start braking for Flint. Let's start slowing down for Flint. I've heard of Flint, but I've never been there or anything, so I couldn't tell you what it's like or how big it is. I don't think it's a massive place. I think it's just like a small town. But then it does have some pretty big buildings, apparently. So, yeah, there's the station coming up. Uh, I'm going to slow down to 35, and then at 35 I'm going to see how far we are from the station. And if we're still a fair ways out, I'll reduce the brake in a little bit. Ooh, look, a double-decker bus. Double decker. I love riding on the top of a double decker. It's so good. Well, at least I used to until I learned to drive, but you know. Yeah, let's just cruise at 35 for a little bit. And then start braking by this electric box next to the track. So, about here. Let's give it 15% again. And see how that does. Okay, I'm going to have to give it a little more brake actually. Let's go into an old camera, see if we can see like a stop sign. I think there's one at the end of the platform. Uh, yes, there is. Oh no, there's a five car stop sign there actually. 
So if I just release the brakes a little bit and stop about here. Um, we're a little bit close to the end of the platform. But if that's where it's telling us to stop, that's where I'm going to stop. The back door's opening. No, back. What's the point in the sign telling you stop somewhere if you shouldn't stop there? That's stupid. Now the back doors are not open. Ugh, whatever. Let's go. I'm not going to spend too much time moaning. We can go full throttle because the speed limit's about to go up to 90 miles per hour. Eh, Flint doesn't look like a bad place, but then... I can't actually tell you how realistic this simulator is, so... But it doesn't look that bad. It looks a bit council estate but, you know, that's not the worst thing in the world. Could be worse, could live in a slum town. Right, next stop is Shorten. Uh, not sure how far that is. Let's see on the map. So that's where we are. Oh, it's just down the, uh, down the track a little bit, probably like five miles. Shorten. Oh, sh yeah, I believe that's pretty Shorten. And apparently there's two shotgun stations, and they overlap. That's pretty cool. High level and low level. We're going to the low level, so we're probably going to end up going underneath shotgun high level. Oh, nice sewage treatment. That's what you want to see. God, I love it. That's a job I would never do. Sewer cleaner. <laughs> Not happening. Never in my life. I'd rather be homeless, thanks. And I'll start reducing throttle now. Uh, we can't be that far from Shotton. We're coming up on a series of tunnels. There's the AWS. Turn us the light ahead is green. Uh, going through a few short tunnels. There's the AWS. Good job I was internal camera. Otherwise I would never would have noticed. Um, not sure what that was for. Probably the 75 mile hour speed warning sign. That's fine. So there's the first tunnel, coming up on the second one now, the signal is green, which is fine. And we're probably about two or three miles out from Shorten. I don't know though, it's hard to tell scale from the mini-map sometimes. Beep, nailed it. Let's just cruise into Shorten in first person. <laughs> Apparently I'm a better driver in first person, I don't miss the AWS alerts. Right, we just coasted down to 75 miles per hour. Um, that's pretty much the speed we need to be at. The AWS is clear, we have a green light. We're just over a mile out from Shotton now. So I'm going to cruise for a little bit more. And on this bend coming up, we're doing about 7. I'm going to put maybe 15% brake, see how that does. Um, as we're a little ways around this bend. So at this signal on the right. I'm, j I'm literally just guessing these stopping positions, mine don't. If you have this game and want to drive this route, this is not a tutorial how to drive, it really isn't. I'm very bad at driving. Um, ooh, this is going to be close, I'm going to stop in time. I'm not 100% sure, there's a river, I think. More sewage waste treatment, because why not? Eh, inside view, that's not what I want. Yep, sewage waste. And... Has my game crashed? I feel that my game has crashed. Um, okay, that's not good. Okay guys, we're just leaving uh, Shotton. Why didn't you see me pull up? Because of course my game crashed. And the stupid thing about that is that the game crashed and it presented an error message and it put the error message underneath the game so I couldn't see it. Yeah, so I had to restart my entire game um, from Shotton, sta uh, uh, yeah, Shotton Station, couldn't think then. So we're still at Flint for some reason. And um, hopefully that doesn't happen again. I don't know why it happened, but it's very annoying. The speed limit now is 75 miles per hour. And we are currently just, so, just under 30 miles from crew. We've got one more stop, which is um, Chester. I've been to Chester, they have a very nice coffee... Uh, stand on the platform. That's pretty much all I know about Chester. And at some point recently, I think, we crossed into England from Wales. 
so no longer funny place names or weird translations of bilingual signs. That's pretty much the only difference, other than the fact Wales is better. And we are... how far out from Chester are we? Um, Chester is there, so it's not too far. We're somewhere here, there's us, and there's Chester, and then we got quite a long drive from Chester to Crewe. I think it's about 20 miles, something like that. Not 100% sure, though. We're approaching the speed limit now. I'll admit, this has not been the most professional or the best video I've ever done. Um, i got a sore throat, so it's hard to talk. It's not really concentrating. My game crashed and I left my microphone muted. I'm not a professional. Ugh, sucks. Yeah, I, I did my best. I'm going to do my best to edit it so it looks a little more seamless than it has been. But, um, yeah, we are coming up on Chester. And hopefully my next OCRP video, which I'm going to record after this, won't be as half-assed, let's say. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me right now? My game's just crashed again. Ugh. You know what? <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Okay guys, welcome to a very empty Chester station. My game crashed again. There are currently only two trains here. There's my train and this one pulling in now. Let's have a look at it. That is an Arriva Trains Wales. Uh, class 175, I believe. With sideways axles. That's good. That's what you want to see. Not at all glitchy there. Something's broken. I don't know what it is with Shotgun. It's crashed my game twice now. So, I'm going to do this one last little attempt of the journey. And if it crashes again, then... Screw it, pretty much. But yeah, this is uh, Chester Station. Oh, there's another train there as well. I wonder if it has sideways axles, probably. No, that one looks just fine. Huh, not sure what caused that then. Either way though, it doesn't matter. Let's get out of here. What platform are you going to? Um... Oh, and its axles are fixed now. That was weird. I don't know where he's going. Reva trains Wales. I heard on the radio the other day, um, I'll admit I was in work so I wasn't paying too much attention to it, but I heard that Arriva's not operating in the in uh, Wales anymore. Um, they've got a new thing, Transport for Wales, something like that. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I was in work. I was kind of busy earning money. Uh, speed limit's going down to 20 in a moment, so I'm just going to cruise at like 20. And um, let's get out of here. And if the game crashes again, I'm just going to end it there because that's just a pain in the ass. I don't know what it is. It must be something about shot and it's just unstable. I believe we're going to cross over to the right here. I'm not 100% sure. Um, looks like we are, though. Yes. That's why the speed limit is 20. And then when we cross the point, it goes up to 65, which is good. And we are currently 20 miles, 20.8 uh, miles away from Crewe, which is our final stop. Um, there's no stops in between, so this should be quite a high speed run, hopefully. Let's see how it goes, though. Let's see if the game crashes again, I swear to God. Let's give it a bit of uh, power now. In fact, I should go full throttle. And up to 65 we go. Yeah, I, I don't know why it crashes. I assume the developers know about it and are going to do something about it. Because, let's be honest, people pay a lot of money for these routes. And if it's just going to crash every time you use it, it's going to piss you off and you're not going to buy the game anymore. So the sooner they fix that in my books, the better. Because, I'll be honest, I'm not going to drive this route again, probably. I don't know, I might. Maybe if I ever got bored and had a few hours left to spare. But... Yeah, it's a little bit shitty if you have, if you spend like £30 on a game, that's what, $40, $45? 
and it comes with three routes and one of them is incredibly unstable and keeps crashing. It's going to piss you off pretty quick. Oh well, we got a tunnel coming up and then the speed limit's going up to 90, so 20 miles at 90 miles an hour. Should take about 12, 13 minutes maybe. maybe well, probably a bit more than that. I should call it 15 minutes, but again, I'll probably edit some of it out. This video is going to be a lot shorter than I thought it was with all the um, crashing and the editing out stuff and things. It's a bit annoying, but whatever. Not much I can really do about it. If I go throttle about a 2, then it shouldn't accelerate past the speed limit before we cross this night board. Yep, there we go. And let's see if this train can actually manage to get all the way to crew. God, I hope it can. So here's my question for you guys. Have any of you ever been to or do any of you live in the UK? Because I know that quite a lot of my um, subscribers are from the States and Canada. Which is fair enough because a lot of my content is like OCRP and Canadian and American and all that. So I don't know, any of you guys from the UK? And my second question is, and I got asked this today by a friend. I don't know why, he just did. If you could be a sandwich, what sandwich would you be? That's my question. Uh, I like my friend Holly's answer. She said she wants to be a hot cheese sandwich so that people bite her and it burns her tongue and then she can laugh at them. <laughs> uh, you can see the type of friends I hang around with. That is why I got the personality I have. Yep. A lot of dicks in uh, my friend circles. Let's just zoom out a bit. I don't like the camera being that close. This is a good looking train though. Fair play. You can tell by the look of it that it's actually quite a fast train. It's not designed to do like short city hops. It's designed to be on the uh, main lines doing high speed from city to city. It is a really nice train. It's nice to drive as well. The only thing I don't like, when you're in the internal view, you can't actually see anything that's important to you. Like, the camera angle naturally is like that, so all you can see is the engine start and the AWS. There's the speedo down there. Um, there's the horn. It's meant to do a low tone after that, but okay. Uh, we can speed up a little bit. Uh, throttle and brake by there. You can't really see anything, which is a bit annoying. That's the only thing I don't like about this train. But then, it's a minor thing, really. But if you're like a serious enthusiast that has to keep your eye on the speed and everything, speed and everything, and like to drive the HUD off, it's kind of hard. You have to kind of point the camera down like that, I suppose, or maybe have some form of track IR. That would also work. And um, yeah, just <laughs> hope and pray for the best. I've actually been on this route in real life. We went up to uh, Liverpool, me, my dad, and my brother for the Grand National Horse Race. I'm not really into horse racing, but my dad wanted us to go, so I was like, meh, why not? And we caught a train from Newport, which is in South Wales, up to Liverpool. And the way we went was up through Cumbran, through Wales, on the Welsh Marshes Line, I'm speeding. And we got off on... where did we get off? I can't remember if we went from... yeah, we went from Crewe, where we got off, to Chester, along this line in the other direction and then from Chester to Liverpool and on the way back I believe we went from Liverpool to Crewe and then back along the Welsh Marshes line but yeah I've actually been on this line in the other direction and the scenery is quite nice I gotta be fair it, it does look quite nice out the window Oop, don't know why I turned the hood off then um, I it's hard to get the right camera angle in this game. Eh, you know what, I quite like that. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to go outside because indecisiveness. And we are currently 13 miles away from crew. It's coming up fast. We are going 90 miles per hour. It's very dead around here. Are there any other trains near us? That's what I want to know. Any trains? Any trains at all? Anyone come in? Nope, 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 no, 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 no. No trains at all. That's good. Oh, there's one. Class 158 Sprinter. Uh, it's just stopped there for some reason. Now we come into some kind of yard here. I think that's where they build trains. And then there's Crew Station, which is absolutely huge. Has six routes going into it. And look at the size of this yard. It really is huge. I tried to build it on Trains 2006 before. It's just my computer couldn't handle it. I was building it on a laptop. 
But yeah, crew is pretty damn big. I'm just going to say that about it. Speed limit's going down to 75 in a moment. So I'm just going to reduce the throttle and coast down to that speed. Oh, really? Goes down to 75 for 0.3 of a mile. That's annoying. Might have to break. Uh, yeah, we have to break for the 75 mile an hour speed limit coming up. Which only lasts like 300 yards because why not? And yep, yeah, that's about right. And then goes back up to 90. I think overall my driving on this route hasn't been too bad. This may well be my last train sim 2018 video. My last train sim video altogether, actually. Um, simply because one, you guys don't seem to be the most interested in it of all the games I've played. But it's got a fair number of views, the last video did, but yeah. Uh, two, there's only three routes, and I've driven two of them now. And the third route, to be honest, I'm not looking forward to that. Because it's in Germany, or Austria, one of them. And I'm sure the scenery on it will be really nice. However, I don't know how to drive German trains. And if I just put a train like this on a German track... Even though, yeah, it'd probably actually fit, it'd probably work in real life. It just, people would moan and it wouldn't look right. And it would just t kind of take you out of the authenticity of it, the simulation part of it. So, I don't know if I'm going to do that, and I don't really have time to sit there and learn how to drive German trains. Like, they have different signalling systems and everything, and it would take a lot of time to learn. But, um, you never know, I might bring it back, I don't know, I might buy another route for it maybe, I'm speeding. But yeah, I'll have to see, because the thing with this game, it relies so much on add-ons, and the add-ons are so expensive. If I am to drive her again, it might be like something different, like maybe a freight journey, that might be interesting, or something like that, but... I wouldn't hold your hopes up if you're looking for a third episode on this game. I don't know, could be. If you subscribe, then you might see it pop up in your box one day. But I wouldn't be 100% sure about that. Right, we are 8 miles out. That's not actually that far. And the speed limit is probably going to start declining soon. Because I doubt it's a 90 mile an hour speed limit into Crew Station. Could be, but I don't know. Cool little marina by there. Nice little canal network. We are currently five miles out from Crew Station. Um, Crew Station really is huge. <laughs> Honestly, probably the biggest train station I've ever been to in real life. But then, equally, I'm not a massive fanboy of trains. I don't go around stations or tracks taking photos. I just like playing the game, so... Mm, haven't been to that many stations, we're about speed. Uh, a ton of which, the speed limit's dropping down to 70 soon. Which goes to show that we are coming into Crew Station soon. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. Let me know if you guys want to see more Train Sim 2018. But I'm always open for suggestions. If someone has a good idea, then I'm more than happy to go and do it if I can. But yeah, I... Personally, I don't know if I wanna, if I'm gonna bring it back. It depends if you guys are. Like, I quite like playing it. I'll be honest, but it's kind of like I've done everything now, and I can't really do the German route. So the AWS might go off soon. No, nope, surprisingly not. I do need to slow down, however. My sort of ten percent brake should do nicely. But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see, and if you have any suggestions for OCRP as well then I'm more than happy to hear them. I've had quite a few good suggestions off you guys so far. So if you have good ideas, then feel free to let me know. Even if you think, yeah, that sounds a bit stupid, I could always put a twist on it and try and make it interesting or whatever. It's always worth a shot. So yeah, that's um, worth doing, certainly, if you have an idea for OCRP. And if you're interested in joining OCRP, then I believe applications are open at the moment. You just simply go to OCRP dot... Uh, no. I can't remember. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to join OCRP. There's another Arriva Trains Wales train. And, um, yeah, now let's just drive the rest of the journey into Crew Station. Not far out now. Two miles and the speed limit's dropping quite fast. 
So I'm just going to let the train coast down to that 50 and then we're going to have to break for the 20 zone coming up. Here comes the electrification because the crew station is electrified because it's on the um, west coast main line which is electrified all the way from I believe it goes from Glasgow to London but I'm not 100% sure. You can see the platform there on the mini map. We're slowing down quite nicely at the moment I think. Nice little signal box there. They don't really use them anymore, which is a shame because they're quite cool. There's one of the depots on the right. Ooh, come on, don't crash. Oh, you are kidding me. It just crashed again. What do you need to run this game without crashing? I've got an i7 overclock, 7700K no less, and a 1080 Ti graphics card. I've got plenty of RAM got a good enough hard drive with an SSD and it still crashes. God, imagine trying to run this game in 4K. It would just be disastrous. Okay guys, I tried to recover it but this the game has just completely crashed so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode probably of OCRP. I don't know if I'm ever going to play this game again. It just it can't handle it. So yeah that happened. So yeah, make sure you come back for them, and I will see you next time. Peace out, guys. <laughs> oh, God.